coming. Hey, what are you guys doing here? Uh, we're here to shoot the new episode of OPS Dare Squad. Why at my house? Because we all agreed on that. We did? Yes, now move to the way, loser. Excuse me. Okay, then, just come right in. Why are there so many geek posters? Oh, yeah, you're a geek. Let him be a geek if he wants to be a geek. Hey, I'm not a geek. Well, look at the posters. You have Doctor Who, Spider-Man, and Star Wars. That's pretty geeky to me. Whatever, think what you want. Alright, let's just get on to the... Wait, is that... Are you wearing my shirt? No. Are you sure? Because I'm pretty sure last episode... It's not your shirt, okay? Okay, okay. It's not my shirt. You just have it a boy shirt. Can we just get in our positions, please? Whatever. Hey guys, and welcome back to the Dare Squad. Last episode, you guys didn't really specify who the dares were going to go to. This time you did. So this episode is going to be a little bit different. So this time, the person who gets the dare is the only person who knows what the dare is. So let's get right on with the dares. So sorry. Was I interrupting? Grr. Just wanted to give this to you, Sage. It's the old sweatshirt of yours that you gave me to wear. Uh, I figured you want it back. Even after what happened, we can still be polite to each other, right? Uh, I mean, almost over three years of spending every single day together. It creates quite a connection. Wouldn't you agree, Savannah? Grr. That doesn't just disappear overnight. Uh, well, I guess what I'm trying to say with this is, I'm sorry, and I was wrong. Our friendship means too much to me to simply throw away. We still have that, don't we, say? Uh, uh, I... And, I mean, it turned out for the best, didn't it? Malcolm and I are just so happy together. How nice for you. Sage and I are really happy together, too. And I couldn't be more thrilled for you. I wanted to apologize to you, too. You know, for messing up your face. This is for you. Um... I guess I let my temper get the best of me. You know how us felines can be when our boundaries are overstepped. You just never know when we're going to. Snap. This Kit Kat is gonna be amazing. <gasps> Cannibal! Ah! What the heck? have any food in this house? Yeah, in the left cabinet. Guys, I can't finish the series. What? Why not? I'm moving. No way. Why? No way. Why? And there's something else. What, are you gonna say that you don't want any friends with us anymore because you're gonna be too far away? You're over dramatic. No, it's... JK Potatoes! Oh, come on! Seriously? Seriously? I have to say something nice about this guy? Fine. You are Keel. Keel. Were you about to call me cute? No! Keel! It, it's the new slang word. <laughs> I see. You think I'm cute. No, I don't. You're hideous. Okay, whatever. Okay, my turn. Uh, I think... I think you're okay. That... that... that's not a compliment. Fine, you're... What? Your eyes are pretty? 
What? Am I am I not good enough for you? No, no, you're dumb. Just, uh, I, I gave you a compliment. Just accept that's it. That's not a compliment. You're it was hard enough to think of one. Now accept it. Are you saying that I'm not like cool? I'm not like anything. I'm just. That's I'm just... exactly what I'm saying. I hate you. You were a cool person. You want me to wear girl clothes again? After Princess Paul? Seriously? Look fine. Alex! Yeah? I have to wear your clothes for dare. Look fine. I'll go change out of these ones. There's my clothes. Ugh. Okay, so Alex told me the dare, and I just, I can't wait to see him. <laughs> okay. I'm ready. <laughs> Oh, you look prettier than you did with Princess Paul. So basically, I just had to wear this bow and these earrings. I mean, uh, at least I don't have to wear a tutu again. <laughs> you look like a girl. <laughs> well, you look like a guy. You're wearing a guy shirt. Just because I'm wearing a guy shirt doesn't mean I look like a guy. Well, with that logic, then just because I'm wearing a girl bow doesn't mean I look like a girl. Uh, well, you've always looked like a girl, so... <laughs> My bow matches your bandana. Whatever. I hate you, Jack the Panda. I hate you. Alex! I need clothes! Seriously? So Alex told me the dare, and it's pretty much the opposite of my dare. Well, the same as my dare, but to her... Because she's a tomboy. <laughs> thank you, Jack the Panda. I already told you thank you once, and now I'm gonna say it again. She's coming. I think. Here comes the bride! I'm not a bride, you idiot! Yeah. I think I will hunt Jack the Panda down, and, and, and once I find him, he better run for his life. Show them your outfit! There you go, guys. Are, are you happy? Are you happy to see a poor tomboy? Wear girly girl clothes. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> I'm just... I, I can't... I, I can't do this. Ouchie wawa! Dang, she looks hot in a girl outfit. What? You're weird. Great. Now you guys are daring me to die, and I'm stupid enough to do it. Okay, I don't see any sharks so far. Maybe this won't be so bad after all. Seriously, Jack the Panda, just a second ago I was saying I loved you. And now this? <laughs> Why? Why, Jack the Panda? Why? Okay, she's upstairs, so I'll go find her. Wow, he really doesn't have any food in this place. Kit Kat? Hey, Dakota, did you get another dare? Uh, no. Uh, then what do you want? Then why are you here? To make fun of me? Tell me I look ugly in these clothes? No, no. Uh, I'm actually here to tell you the opposite. <laughs> I think you look really pretty in those clothes. Uh, thanks. Nicest thing you've ever said to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just a kind person like that. Okay, you're not yourself. What are you trying to say? Alright, alright. You caught me. I'm here to say... Kat, it took so much courage for me to say this, but I've liked you ever since I laid eyes on you. And I know these girl clothes make the moment even more awkward than it 
should be. But Kit Kat, I love you. Oh my gosh, he kissed me. All my life dreams have come true. Woo! Oh my gosh, Alex. I just had to do the grossest thing. What was your dare? Someone dared me to kiss Kit Kat. I mean, ugh. it was literally the worst thing I've had to do. Like that was worse than being frozen alive last episode. Really? Yeah, totally. I mean, it was just the worst thing in the world. Like, she no, she's my friend, not my girlfriend. Like, I even had to say I loved her. I don't love her. Well, what did Kit Kat think about it? She didn't really say anything. I guess she didn't want to be rude. But <laughs> she obviously doesn't like me, you know? She's always picking on me, call me a geek and everything, so... <laughs> I'm just hoping things can go back to normal between us, you know? Hey guys, um, <clears throat> so I gotta do this dare, you know, at least he won't be able to say anything. I'm not crying, I just got something in my eye, hold on. Hello? What? Hi. Uh, I like you a lot. Whoa. This is the best day of my life. I actually got to be kissed by a really cute girl. <laughs> Ugh, where is she? I don't know. She's taking it forever. What kind of dare did she get? Ugh. Oh, you're home. Hey, Kit Kat. Hey, Kit Kat. What's wrong with you? Yeah. Nothing. You sure? Hurry up and end the episode so I can go home. Alright, okay. alright. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the door. I'll get it. Um, what are you doing here? Kit Kat, my love! What's going on? Kit Kat! Kit Kat, I love you too. Uh, hold on, hold on. What's going on? Will you be my girlfriend? Well, he's cute, and obviously Dakota doesn't like me, so this might be my only chance to get a boyfriend. Why not? Sure, why not? Yay! <gasps> Kit Kat, what are you doing? I'm getting someone who actually loves me, Dakota. But, 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 so you want to go to my house? Sure. But I love you. What? Oh, she's home. Thank you, Kat.